and it is face mask Friday. I forgot the tube because it's like in my bathroom. I forgot to grab it and I think I'm like almost dry. But I'm going to try to cover more than one topic in my video today because someone said that, you know, I should probably try to cover more than one thing to keep y'all in a tiny for face mask Friday unless it's like a story time or something and I can just, you know, rant, bitch, and moan. So, first thing, Drake shaved his beard. What the fuck is wrong with you, Drake? Like, did you just wake up and decide, hey, I'ma fuck up the universe real quick and just my shit off? What is wrong with you? Like, if you did it for SNL, I'm gonna be even more mad. Like, did they not have no protective gel for your beard and you could have kept your shit and you just like robbed us of the most beautiful thing ever? You're not even Drake no more. Hell, you're not even Aubrey Graham. You're wheelchair Jimmy now. Really? Really? But then, I don't know. I don't even think wheelchair Jimmy would have done no shit like this because he would have kept the beard for the bitches. You didn't... Like, whatever happened to Hotline Bling? I'm not going to be calling you on my cell phone late night when I need your love because clearly you are a liar. Liar. <sighs> Thank you. Two, Azalea Banks was suspended from Twitter by Twitter. Isn't that the greatest thing ever? Like, listen, I have never been an Azalea Banks fan. Even back when 212 came out to me, she's obnoxious. She wants to claim that everybody is copying off her. Like, she wanted to say that Zayn Malik from One Direction was copying off of her in his latest new video. Bitch, you don't own Tron Legacy. I just, like, the shit look like Tron to me. You don't own Tron. Were you in Tron? I don't even think there were any black people in Tron. It's been years since I've seen that movie. But, like, really? And you know what's fucked up about the whole thing? There was, like, a section. I'm going to use Taylor Swift as an example. In her video, Bad Blood, there was a section where, like, her and Jessica Alba, they're on these bikes, and it was very Tron Legacy. But was that bitch on Twitter saying that Taylor Swift copied off her? No, she wasn't. Like, I feel like Azalea Banks finds things to bitch about just so she can be relevant because her music is eh. Yeah, I said it. Her music is eh. One of my friends made me listen to one too, and that was the only reason I listened to it. And I was like, I'm not moved, but whatever. And I don't give a shit if you're one of her stands or fans. I really, I really don't care. Come in my comments. Stalk that shit if you want to. You bitch ain't here to save you. Eh. Anyway. Third thing, Blake Lively defended Woody Allen. Why, girl? Why? Like, do you not know who he is? Like, do you not know all the fucked up shit that he... Like, people just want to act like, oh, his movies are wonderful, so we can forgive him for, like, marrying his adopted stepdaughter and sexually assault. Like, I... First of all, how could you defend somebody who has, like, rapist? along with their name. Like, there's an asterisk by Woody Allen's name, and that asterisk is rapist. And he's a fucking weirdo. Like, yeah, his movies are great, but, like, you can't sit up here and be going hard for somebody that even Hollywood sometimes is like, Ugh, God. But it's like, um, I was reading on Twitter that Woody Allen's son said that Hollywood has a way of protecting really old effed up people and I agree Hollywood has a way of if they like you they'll totally forget that you beat up uh, another famous Hollywood woman or man because you know keep dishing out those movies we're fine with a sexual assault and domestic violence because we're Hollywood God. the next thing Justin Bieber is a fucking liar so apparently he was out partying last night hanging out with friends and taking pictures with fans I thought you didn't like feeling like a circus animal, Justin. Really? And you know what pisses me off about that whole thing? First of all, circus animals don't ask to be in their circles, okay? They're put there. And it's not like nobody's whip it's not like somebody's whipping you in the back saying, dance monkey, dance. It's not. You was the one on YouTube all them years ago singing and trying to get known. You was the one who got signed to Usher. You was the one who put out two movies because, you know, I did it for the fans. I love my fans. Then you want a bitch about fans. Like, I hate it when he said, if you buy an album, you just buy an album. I don't owe you no picture. We don't owe you shit. 
I mean, one time I googled online that backstage passes to see your ass was like 250 and I feel like if it's 250 to see your ass backstage, I'm getting a picture, bitch. You owe me something. Like, you act like there aren't people out here like George Clooney, Viola Davis, like women who have been, women and men who have been in the industry for years. You think they're going into Whole Foods and not having to deal with people stare at them or take pictures of them on their phones? You're not special, Bieber. Like, honestly, think of people like Cicely Tyson or Robert De Niro who have been here forever. You still, you think they not getting stopped on the street and asked for pictures? They not bitching. They not writing paragraphs on Instagram bitching about the fame. That's you. That's just you. You love to complain. Like, I don't, oh my God. Like, Justin Bieber be the main one. Forgive me, forgive me, but then complain about everything. First of all, I wouldn't allow my daughter or my sister or my niece or anybody to be a fan of somebody who, I saw this video clip of he was performing and apparently people in the audience were clapping off beat and he gonna get mad. If you're gonna clap, clap on beat or don't clap at all. Like, bitch, I'll clap how I want. Bitch. Anyway. Last but not least, Tinder, you did me wrong. Tinder, you did me dirty. So, I was on Tinder at like 5 a.m. this morning because I couldn't sleep. I had made some really decent matches, and then today I was like, I'm going to message them when I wake up. You know, I'm on my confidence shit today, and I'm going to message them because one of them, well, no, like at least three or four of them had like wonderful potential. I made eight matches, okay? What did I wake up to? Three. I woke up to three matches. And none of my new matches, all motherfucking matches. Like, Tinder, Tinder, why do you do this kind of shit? I feel like Tyra Banks. We were rooting for you. We was all rooting for you. How dare you? Like, I don't get on Tinder all the time because I get sick of the messages of, when you gonna suck my dick? Or, come fuck me, fat girl. Or, I know you don't love yourself, so you might as well give me some pussy. Or, you so ugly. Like, the shit gets old, alright? It's the same generic shit over and over in my messages. But a few of them, their bios were really fucking good. And I was like, holy shit, I'ma talk to these men. And I ain't even get that. Tinder robbed me of a potential nice conversation. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, why are you ruining my life? Like, it's bad enough people only use Tinder to fuck each other nowadays, which I'm not judging you if you just go to find dick or pussy on Tinder. Do your thug thizzle. But some of us appreciate a decent conversation. And I can't even have that. Because Tinder won't let a bitch live. Why you do this to me, Tinder? I thought we was friends. I've been rocking with you since the beginning. This is like the third time you've taken my fucking matches away. You shit, Tinder. That's the only way I know how to cry because this mask is like tight as shit on my face. And lastly, lastly, lastly is uh my mom's college graduation is tomorrow i'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing mommy i'm so proud of you you went back to school at 49 and you're ending at 59 you the shit girl you the shit i'm so proud of you you made me go to college even though i was like fuck college was that you know you help me get my degree you help everybody you meet you're such a kind sweet soul and i'm so so proud of you mom and i can't wait to watch you walk across that stage and get your second master's degree and see what you do next because you're so fucking amazing but that is it for face mask friday this video is like nine minutes and 20 seconds if no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you i think you're awesome and i love you peace